and welcome back to weekly update video so this is going to be the update for um, September 30th 2022 uh, there's more details on the Industrial Frontier DLC uh, let's go ahead through it so dear store markers the Industrial Frontier DLC is almost here arriving October 13th at 4 p.m. UTC 10 a.m. Pacific time this announce in this announcement we discuss and information and details in the new DLC we also have an incredible month of updates planned with hints below on next week's minor updates as well as a Halloween update in the works. The new biome. The new arid mainland is the new dry biome inspired by various deserts, canyons, mountain ranges, and styles of geology from around the world. Different areas of the new mainland represent the style and nature of various world locations, each blending into the next to create a varied and diverse landscape. There are various build locations around the world, including an abandoned and damaged nuclear power plant on the coast with low levels of radiation, a large oil and gas storage yard, abandoned iron ore mine and terminal, huge flat salt plains with shipwrecks reminiscent of the Aral Sea, metalworks and foundry, gold ore separator, deep uranium mine, a radio uh, frequency telescope inspired by Arecibo telescope, and many other unique locations. The new biome is 30 kilometers from end to end, 400 square kilometers in total, and surrounded by many new small dry islands. The many dozens of new locations and landmarks across the island are named in honor of many great Stormworks vehicle creators who have shared the creations in the workshop. New rail. The new railway lines are extensive and designed to, far, to largely form loops as well as provide freight access to many of the new industrial locations, as well as routes and junctions. There are various shunting yards to allow for more operations required in rail freight. Next week's minor update will make further big improvements in train gameplay. Animals. The new animals are largely grouped into some, uh, some main categories, domestic dog breeds, farm animals, predators, and herbivores. There are around a dozen breeds of dog, from traditional working dogs, such as German Shepherds, to, just, to less traditional search and rescue canines, such as the pug. Farm animals include breeds of horse, sheep, cow, pig, goat, chicken, etc. Predators include types of bears, wolves, and more, while prey include types of hare, deer, etc. As a reminder, in the upcoming timetable, October 7th, the train theme minor update, so that's really cool. October 13th, Industrial Frontier launch, and then the 25th is the Halloween update. Thank you to everyone who support we've received. We're super excited for the upcoming expansion and can't wait for release. We're looking forward to your feedback, and see you next week for the minor update. Much love, Stormworks developers. All right, so this uh, let's go through it a little bit um, more in detail now. So, um, you know, uh, talking here about this is a, a nice large area. As they said, it's 30 kilometers across. To put that in perspective, to go from Spy Cakes to um, up to the Arctic is about 90-ish um, um, kilometers. So you're talking about a third of the distance from Spy Cakes up to the Arctic. Um, let see if we can zoom in here. No, I'm not going to be able to zoom in. Uh, I could, you know, cheat zoom in, but let's let's cheat zoom in here. So, um, you know, it's kind of nice to see the map here. You can see there's a lot of flat lands here. It looks like a uh, nice beach here. I like that we can go in between the islands here. As you can see, it looks like there are dual bridges here. Um, looks like there's a bridge right here. I'm not sure what the shallow area is. That's interesting. Um, an airport here. So one thing I've been hoping for is the ability to fly from, uh, to, to use airplanes more. And so um, this will be nice to be able to fly from the main island down to here. As you can see, there's one here. Uh, there's one up here. Um, it looks like those are your two airports. So that's kind of nice. Um, I think this is the nuke plant um, from the GIFs from last um, time they talked about this. Looks like these are the cooling towers. Uh, if you remember, there was a helicopter flying around the nuclear plant. Um, looks like coming in here is the cooling area and then like a storm surge uh, tsunami fence to protect the um, the uh, nuclear plant and then from the video it looked like there was a city here I'm wondering if that is the gas yard um, that would make sense um, let's see if I can zoom in e even further here no looks like these are tanks so what I thought might have been a town or a city it looks like these are tanks so that must be the new um, 
the new area with the gas tanks. Um, as you can see, lots of either rail and or road networks, which is really cool. Kind of like you have a road out to this island here. That's kind of neat. Another continent here. Um, you know, this is, looks like a big concrete area here. This could be one of the shunting yards for the train. So if you don't know what that is, essentially, currently in game, you know, when you spawn a train, you might have four tracks going into the um, into the barns, the hangars. And the issue is, you can only spawn from one of those barns. So when you put a train together, you tend to have to spawn the locomotive, move it up. Spawn something else, connect to it, move it up. Spawn something else, connect to it, move it up. Now what you would be, be able to do with shunting is, say for example, they have four of those hangars, but now they have four um, spawn locations. You could spawn four parts of the train and then move them and connect all four. Spawn four more, move them and connect all four. That's shunting, connecting the train together. That way you can hopefully get um, your trains connected uh, more efficiently. I'm really liking the design of the different islands here and the ability to take boats and ships through there. Um, that's really cool. It, it gives it some interesting um, navigation um, challenges here. So you're going to have to come around and go under bridges and... And it'd be these nice bays. Like, I, I want to take Triton in here and kind of sit in this bay. Um, that's really cool. Let's try to see if there's anything else really um, visible to look at here. Up here, it looks like, I'm not sure what these are. These might be docks. Um, that's what I'm thinking they are, is docks. So that's very cool. Um, it's nice to see the map. Um, so some other things here that I didn't necessarily think about at first. Um... That's the large oil and gas storage yard I thought was just by the nuke plant. Ab abandoned iron mine, iron ore mine, and ore terminal. Um, this is cool to have the shipwrecks um, reminiscent of the RLC. Metalworks and foundry. So that's probably we're going to be delivering this um, ore. So it looks like we have gold ore separator too. So it uh, um, looks like go uh, gold is also an ore we are getting. Uranium. They talked about uranium. That's nice to also get that. So that's going to have unique challenges as well, probably. Trying to see what else is um, anything I missed. It's nice that they form loops um, so that you can actually kind of loop around. A lot of freight to the new industrial locations. Um, they said, the, you know, the shunting yards. So if we look here, you can see we have multiple lines here. And the ability to leave trains on so you can kind of pass. Um, looks like new signals there. I'm curious if these are electrical transmission lines. It looks like there's some sort of animal out there. That's cool. Um, so some of the new animals. I'm excited about horses. I don't know if we'll be able to ride the horses, but that would be awesome. If we could ride the horses, now you have a non-powered uh, mode of transportation. That would be really cool. That would give horses a, a nice use. So you have your dog that can help you with rescues. And you have a horse that you could ride around the map. That would be really cool. Um, really excited about the October 7th train theme minor update. I um, was curious what the, that was going to be. And it makes sense. You know, um, they're doing a big train expansion here. So having a train theme minor update. Um, so some new parts in that. I'm not going to hype up or theory craft those. Um, you know, it's only a week away and we'll see what they are. Um, very excited for Industrial uh, Frontier launch. That's awesome. And the Halloween. Um, I'm not too big on like the, um, you know, like the crack and the monsters and stuff like that. And kind of the non-realistic stuff. Except when it's like a holiday event. I, I like the holiday events. I used to like to play ARK and, and do the different holiday events. And and so those are kind of special times. Having a hol holiday event. Maybe having some um, different costumes. Having, you know, especially if we're getting animals in by then. You know, some of the animals might, um, you know, you can kind of see maybe a horse has uh, the Headless Horseman on him or something. I don't know. But um, really looking forward to this. This looks awesome. Um, really excited about this. Uh, really nice looking, uh, nice flat areas. The nice flat areas are also going to make it nice and easy to land planes. A um, lot of really good, interesting stuff. Um, you know, if this... Uh, you know, big volcano here with lava pools. Um, very cool. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are. And I'll see you in the next one.